represent Simon Vera, the salutatorian. This moment is just as special for them as it is for us. It is an honor to be able to speak in front of such a brilliant and successful class. Still, crafting a speech that will inspire and keep your interest is perhaps one of the most difficult tasks I've ever been faced with. Rather than focusing on memories or the past, I would like to share the lessons that I've picked up throughout high school. Hopefully, some of the words I speak will resonate with you and guide you along your unique paths in life. Do not allow yourself to be miserable. Do not do something just because it will enhance your resume or lead to opportunity in the future. Passion is important in everything we do. It pushes us to accomplish the goals we have and dig deeper in what we love. Is success still success if passion wasn't present in the journey to the end? We, as humans, are social creatures. We live to form friendships and interact. Even so, we cannot base our lives around others and live to make them proud. While many good people exist, not everyone has your best interests in mind. They may aim to beat you down and keep you in the dumps. Don't allow anyone, from these people to your best friends, to become the arbiter of your emotions. They be shade for you. Be your own person. Push for your own happiness. If we live with others in mind, we will always fall short of reaching our full potential. While we shouldn't base our lives around making others happy, we shouldn't only live solitary lives either. There is much to learn from the people around you. Everyone in this room has something to teach you. Form friendships with many people, even if they aren't close friendships. Wisdom is impossible to achieve alone. Pick the brains of those around you and learn more about yourself through others. Sometimes we must face hardships. Things can easily become too much and can force us to break down. It may seem like nothing is going your way. In these times of struggle, don't allow yourself to be consumed by your anger or sadness. We all have moments of weakness where we need to vent and take time to think. Even if you, all, if you think you're strong enough to brave life alone, there will always come a time where the problems of life will pile up on your shoulders. Let others help you and live to help others. Life after school may seem competitive, but it doesn't need to be. We're all humans aiming for the same common goal, happiness. Without the help and support of others, we are ignoring a crucial part of the human experience. Don't let failure change anything about you. It's perfectly fine to bask in the pain of disappointment and vent when it first occurs. However, as time goes on, we must stop looking forward, looking to the past and look forward, learning from our mistakes and fixing what caused them, not simply ignoring them. The worst thing any of us can do to conform to failure and allow it to change us. Even in defeat, you must keep yourself intact. The worst thing anyone can take from you is your pride. While giving this speech and being the salutatorian is an honor, it is not a title that should imply any sort of superiority. My one regret in high school is living with grace. Everyone in the graduating class is bright and unique. There are many in this crowd that are smarter than I will ever hope to be. Instead of living to push their numbers higher, they woke up with a smile, happy to trek to school and do what they love. In my pursuit of a high rank, I distanced myself from passion and became a robot without a sense of accomplishment. While it is important to aim for the best, don't lose yourself in the process. Don't allow any sort of ranking system to control you 
or define you. Instead, love your qualities, love your imperfections, and always be proud of who you are, how far you've come, and what you've accomplished. Thank you, members of the audience, for being here tonight to support each and every one of us. As for my fellow graduates, I wish you all the best of luck in your lives. I know that you will all be successful and hope that we live for happiness, not for status. Thank you. Thank you, Stephen. Next, it is my pleasure to introduce our 2012 Senior Class Valedictorian, Christopher Dover. Thank you, Kim. Good afternoon. I want to first start by thanking the teachers, administrators, families, parents, and friends for showing their support for all of these students as they move into the next phase. I want to give a special thank you to my friends and family, specifically my father, my mother, and my brother. I want to thank my teachers for being there whenever we need help on projects and work so that we are college ready. I thank God for his aid, for the majority of what I have accomplished would not be possible if it was not for him. Now students, friends, it has been a long time. Yeah, it only seems like yesterday I was in this next kindergarten class. The days are long, but the years are short. I have known many of you ever since Grape Elementary, and others since my days at Lowell Academy. Throughout the years, I have personally seen what we have been through and accomplished as a class. In the third grade, we had to deal with tax for the first time in our lives. In middle school, we had to deal with harder classes, longer school hours. It was there in middle school, many of us found talents in sports, music, and the arts. We carried those talents up to high school and learned to develop a passion. Every year, there will always be some new award, trophy, or medal to add in Burbank's name. <laughs> My message to you is if you are passionate about your athletic skills, talents, or academic abilities, I encourage you to continue those activities in college, during your spare time, or throughout whatever you plan to do with your life. It does not matter whether you took music, soccer, tennis, basketball, agriculture, chess, art, theater, or the decathlon. Your abilities make up of who each of you are and what you know besides what the textbooks told you. We also had a long way in high school to see which colleges accepted us and where we would be going. I asked many of you, about which schools you are going to, and I am impressed. You have all together raised millions of scholarship money that other classes and schools have not. Not only does this benefit your future, but it also honors your family. Now, here we are. The intermission between high school and the path ahead of us. My friends, here is where we reflect and remember our own personal memories with family and comrades. One at a time, each of you shall stand on that X to have the whole community see where you are going. It is the moment that each of you has worked for and the time where everyone shall congratulate and recognize you for who you are and what you shall become. Now, look around you. 
you will see, sadly, that not everyone from freshman year was able to make it to this point. The reasons for the departure from our past could be natural, personal, or other circumstances. But I want to point out how fortunate the rest of you are able to come this far. My friends, as soon as we receive our diplomas, the world will recognize us as adults who have just completed high school and are now part of the real world, unchained to the innocence we once had. We might be afraid to live on our own. One may, be, one may be a few miles away from home, while the other several hundred miles away. We hear the media talk about how it's becoming harder for students with their problems. <coughs> How difficult it is to find a job, and how the economy is going deeper into its sinkhole. I ask for you not to be discouraged by such news. For this is the type of headline which stops us from taking the chances and holds us from seeking the possibilities available in this free market system. Though the nation's financial status may not be at its peak, the opportunities of a career and successful future still exist as part of the American dream. Depending on where you go, there may not be anyone to help you get started immediately with your life. But through the work ethic and determination that brought you here, you can survive and live up to the expectations of society. Thank you for your time. Kevin, thank you for supporting the students. God bless you, and may God bless the United States of America.